Hello traders everywhere, Jeremy Lutz coming to you from the Digital Studios of Market Club. And are we in a bear market rally, or is it something else? And we'll start as we usually do on a Friday with the S&P 500 chart. However, we're going to start on a daily chart. Because early in the week, you know, we've been talking about the death crosses with the 50-day crossing below the 200-day. And in fact, the S&P 500 on Monday and the Tuesday crossed over just like the Dow and the NASDAQ, which at that point had the chart analysis scored a negative 100. However, we have seen a bounce back this week. And as you can see, we have a new green weekly trade triangle that triggered today for the S&P 500 at 4,416.78. So we are in a bit of a bounce as they are testing over the 50 day and testing the 200 day right now as we stand at the close on Friday. However, we'll go ahead and turn that off real quick and we'll change this back to a weekly chart. And as you can see, I had quite a gain this week, up 6.16%, closing at 4,463.12, indicating with that new green weekly trade triangle, we're now in a sidelines position with a chart analysis score of plus 70, indicating we're now back in a sidelines position for the S&P 500. Key level to watch would be 4,157.87. A move below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle indicating a move back down to a long-term downtrend. Uh, moving along, we'll take a look at the uh, U.S. dollar. As the major three indexes are up on the week, the dollar index is down almost 1%, trading at 98.23. However, chart analysis score remains plus 85 indicating that overall we're still in a long-term uptrend for the U.S. dollar. Key level to watch would be 96.77. A move below that level would issue a red weekly trade triangle, indicating a move back to a sidelines position for the U.S. dollar. Take a look at the Dow Jones, up 5.5% uh, on the week, closed trading at 34,754.93, pushing the chart now to score to plus 70, indicating that we are now in a sidelines position based on a new green weekly trade triangle that I'll show you here on the uh, daily chart triggered on the 17th yesterday at 34,179.07. So we are now in a sidelines position for the Dow. Moving along, we'll take a look at the NASDAQ. And would you look at that? To no one's surprise, I don't think so far, you see a new green weekly trade triangle at 13,837. 59, uh, pushing the chart analysis score to plus 70. So we are now in a sidelines position for the NASDAQ, which closed trading at 13,893.84. And we'll change this back to a weekly chart. As you can see, gained uh, the biggest of the three major indexes at 8.18%. And this means that the all three indexes actually had their best week since November of 2020. That's right. November of 2020. Remember, we're in 2022. So we we'll have to keep an eye on this and see if it continues through. Or is it really just a short-term bear market rally within the larger downward correction that we've been in? We'll have to wait and see. Make sure you guys proceed with caution. Take a look at the crude oil contract. We changed over to May as we're close to expiration date on the 18th here. Uh, currently trading at 103.98. Down about two tenths of a percent on the week, says back to back weekly losses for crude oil. Chart analysis score uh, remains plus 80, indicating that overall we are in a long term uptrend for crude oil. Key level to watch would be uh, 90, uh, 9341. A move below that level would issue a red daily trade triangle, indicating a move to a short term sidelines position for crude oil. Take a look at gold suffering a uh, little over 3.5% loss on the week, trading at 1919.80 with a chart analysis score of plus 55, indicating that overall we are in a long term uptrend, but the short term time frame we're in a sidelines position. Key level to watch would be 1946.20. A move above that level would issue a green daily trade triangle, indicating a move back to a long position in the short term time frame for gold. We'll back out of here and take a look at Bitcoin. Uh, up about 3% on the day. However, chart analysis score remains negative 55, indicating that we are in a sidelines position for Bitcoin. Uh, currently trading at 41,890.71, up 6.86% on the week. Uh, key level to watch remains 45,332.38. 
A move above that level would give us a green weekly trade triangle, indicating a move back to a long position for Bitcoin. With that, every success. Have a great weekend. And share your thoughts below and let me know if you think this, we are in a bear market rally or are we looking to blue skies ahead and only going to go higher from here.